Well, hello everybody. I'm sending this video out today to all my subscribers, both free and premium, because it's box opening day here at Creative Engineering. I got two boxes I wanna open up on video because I have no idea what's in them. Uh, plus, I wanna let all my premium, premium subscribers know that I am going to get back to the pirate programming very shortly. We're gonna get into the programming of the pirate for Jacob's Six Flags uh, display. Now, uh, two boxes came in. Uh, this one came from a fan whose name is Ryan, okay? And this one came from a business associate whose name is Justin Ishmael. So I'm very excited about what this might be. I don't know. I just do not know. He didn't even tell me it was coming. So I can't wait to open that one up. Um, it could be, it could be the new Billy Bob action figure. I don't know. It could be the new vinyl album that he's been producing of all of Creative Engineering and Rocket Fire Explosions originals. I don't know. So uh, first, let's open up Ryan's box and see what he sent me. I just don't know. You know, how do, how do fans decide what I need? I just don't know. Especially young fans that don't even know me. Well, it's in here, and look, it came with a letter, and it says, Dear Mr. Fector, okay, it's got a picture of uh, Billy Bob on it here, and uh, there's uh, mm, Billy Bob, maybe, uh, that might be Billy Bob too, I'm not sure, there's the Creative Engineering logo, that's for sure. Um, Dear Mr. Fector, I'm writing to tell you I'm inspired by your work. Well, good, that's, that's, that makes me happy. Um, I own a Billy Bob plush and um, hopefully have a latex, we'll have a latex Billy Bob mask soon. I just want you to know I'll be a fan for life. Well, good. Uh, good. You're the best. Sincerely, Ryan. P.S. I'm saving up for the mask. I love the new Rockafire. Which is funny, I have had a run on new Rockafire Billy Bob masks lately. I've kept that mold busy. So it's kind of funny. Um, then he puts his address on here and look here's some more pictures. There you go. That's Looney Bird Let's See if you can see this Okay, so he drew a picture of Looney Bird for me and uh, That is I think that's Duke. What do you guys think? Okay, there's Goonie Bird and Looney Bird. And the Rockafire. Look, there's our logo again. Not everyone. Oh, I see. All right, so that's Rolf, and he's saying, everybody loves me. And there's Earl. No, they don't, Rolf. And there's Mitzi. Not everyone. <laughs> okay, so we're still having that argument. Does everyone love Rolf or not? You know, he says they do. Even if they say they don't, Rolf's pretty sure that they just don't know. They just don't know. You see, they haven't had enough experience in life yet to know that they actually love him. But they'll find out someday. Someday when Rolf is gone, everyone will be sorry. They'll be sorry they said bad things about him. They could have been nicer to him when they had a chance. And what do we have here? Ah, look at this. It is a glazed sculpture. Very nicely glazed sculpture of Billy Bob himself. Very nice. I will put this sculpture in my new sculpture museum of fan sculptures which i'm having to start because i have quite a few sculptures from fans that i need to find a place for so thank you very much ryan that was really sweet of you to make and send to me now what did justin send could it be what could it be
Here's some packing materials I can reuse. All right, here's one thing. I'm gonna just pull the things out and then we'll look at them. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff. Where do you guys see all this stuff? It's in here. Oh my goodness. This box is full. Justin has been working on this stuff for quite a while. I'm gonna put the box down here and bring stuff up as, I, as I'm ready to show you. All right, first we have these Billy Bob and Mitzi. Uh, let's see, what would you call these? Are these... Um, okay. <laughs> are they earrings? <laughs> no, no, they're not earrings. What are these called? These are, let's see. So they have these things on the back so that you can hold them onto something. I guess they're pins. They're pins that you can actually put on. Is that what these are? These are really nice. I hate to take them out of the package to see, to see how to use them when they're so nice in their package. Look at that. And when I find out what they are, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be thrilled. So we got a bunch of them though. When I find out what these things are, it's gonna be great. Look, and there's Mitzi. So we got Billy Bob, Mitzi. Here's a Fats. I'll have to ask Carrie what you do with these. The box obviously got pins that stick through them and something you put on the other side to hold it on. So I'm thinking you stick it through a shirt, maybe a t-shirt. Yeah, and then here, these are a little different. Like, see those Billy Bobs, these are from, th this is like the earlier, the earliest Billy Bob with the heavy eyebrows and and a birthday bird next to him. And then these, I'm sure if we go to Justin's website, we can find out what these things are. I was just never much of a fashion guru. Okay, well, it's, a, uh, it's another one. It's got, the, it's got the, um, the attachments on the back to hold it on. Oh man, look at the back of these things. The back of these things have um, pictures, man, these are collectibles. Whatever they are, they're collectibles. Because on the back, we have pictures of the old creative engineering days. Wow, look, on the back of this one is a, these are actually amazing. Let me, let me show you, I'm gonna bring these over there and show you. Are they all the same or, or are some of them different? So like, take a look at these. See, here's the front, there's Mitzi. And on the back, there's a picture of, of a Mitzi from one of the first shows, okay? On the front, there's Fats. And on the back, there's, there's a picture of Fats from the very first Rocket Fire Explosion. And, and then this Billy Bob. And on the back, there's the Billy Bob from the first Rocket Fire Explosion. So to me, the, the backs kind of remind me of trading cards, of old pictures of the characters and the shows that we had way back. And let's see, are they the same on all of these? Oh yeah, look at what's on the back of this one. Okay, this, this Billy Bob here, on the back is a picture of one of my employees whose name I'll have to look up for you working on Billy Bob. So these are cool and he gave me enough of these to where I can maybe give some away. Let's see, one for each of my grandchildren. <laughs> That's just kidding, I don't have that many grandchildren. But I do have a few, actually five. Okay, and let's see what else we have. This is a, I know what this is. This is a t-shirt. 
Look at this. I'm going to have to open this one up because this one's going to get worn. You're seeing it even before I see it. Ah, look at there. There's that artistic rendering that that J that uh, Justin's artist did that um, was stolen and used by those guys who did uh, that panda horror video around Halloween by fixing it up a little bit. But then they got on the right side of us and they paid for the rights to do it after all. But look at there, there's a brand new Billy Bob shirt that Justin is gonna be selling on his website. So I'm going to include Justin's website address uh, in the description of this video so that you'll know where to get it. And I'm gonna wear that. Okay, then I also have here some more of these collectible action cards or pins. I guess they're pins. Wouldn't you say they're pins? But when and how you wear them is another question. Look at this. We have miniature rock -a fire explosion signs. And these look like stick-on decals, but they're very, very nice satiny stick-on decals. And I'm gonna bring some over there. There's one of Billy Bob and Mitzi and Fats. So I'm gonna bring one of these over to the camera and show you these. And then these, oh, look at this. Here are actual cards, stick-on cards, of the parody posters. Beverly Hills Bob. And you can stick that on something. Let's take a look at these other stick-ons. Billy Bob and Loon and Birthday Bird. Mitzi. And Fats. And there's your very own stick-on rock -a fire explosion sign. So we got ourselves some collectible stuff here. And a couple of these just got stuck to the tape. But they're okay. Yay, okay. So, I'm going to put those in here before I lose them. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll probably give these away to some very special fans. And this looks like part of something else. Oh, look. Look at this. Justin sent me enough of these to where I can wear one every day of the week and give a couple away. Thank you so much, Justin. These are very nice. Okay, and look at this. Oh, I've been hoping to see this. Much less own one. I actually own one of these now. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna probably wear this for every tour for quite a while. This is, wow, look, it comes with a, it comes with a collectible card. Um, it says, Billy Bob Broccoli is the lead singer of the Rock Fire Explosion, the greatest animatronic rock band of all time, and is now available as an action vinyl figure Rock Fire Explosion by ISH, available for pre-order now. www.justinishmail.com. I'll put that on the in the description. But check it out. All right. So there's the front of the T-shirt. This has got to be the nicest T-shirt ever. On the back of the T-shirt, it's the World Tour. T-shirt, the Rock Fire Explosion World Tour. And look, there's locations of many, if not all, probably just many, um, of the locations of the Rock Fire Explosion shows that were in existence in the 1980s. And Justin designed this T-shirt. Justin and his designers designed it. And this one is a medium, so I should be able to wear it nicely. I will. Thank you, Justin. Again, I'll put the uh, link up to Justin's website so you can order these t-shirts as well. And I have a few extras, so I don't know. I might just have to have a contest. And then these cards, look at these. These are collectible cards. 
uh, Billy Bob on the front. And wait a minute. That's not a picture of any Billy Bob that I ever had. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the new collectible Billy Bob. That, well, we're gonna have a lot of Billy Bob dolls after a while. This particular one is the action figure that Justin's team designed. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, I have to show you what's coming up next. Look at this. It's not finished, but he sent me one of the prototypes out of the mold of his Billy Bob action figure that's gonna turn out like, like this. Look, he can pose his hands, his arms. Hey everybody, I'm Billy Bob. Let's get up close so you can see this. Is this the one that you can take his head off? Here's what he's gonna look like, right there. He's all finished and painted. So this one's not painted yet. When he's painted, it should look just like this. Wow, very nice. So this is a super collector item. So this one here stays in my treasure trove. Very nice. Can't wait to see it painted. So look at that baby. And of course, what action, Billy Bob action figure would be complete without the extra little pieces. Justin has gone to the trouble of actually making the guitar. Maybe he's a left-handed guitar player. Hey, Mr. Bassman, you keep that music coming to you. It's easy that's right. when you go one, two, and three. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah! Hey, Mr. Bassman, you're on all the songs with a diddle 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 boom and a diddle diddle diddle. We'll figure out how that works. Hey, Mr. Bassman, you're the hidden king of rock and roll. Diddle ba 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 the leader's singing, or when he goes, I, 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 it's the birthday bird. Just one I guess he goes on the guitar somehow. Ooh, yeah, the way you sing, cause Mr. Bass, <laughs> it's, it's nice I that he didn't forget the birthday bird. I haven't put a birthday bird on any of my Billy Bob dolls yet. And this is an interchangeable head. Okay, so you can take this head off, which I don't want to do right now because I'm afraid I'll break it. And you can interchange it with one that's got the mechanism. Look at that. It's complete with a working mouth mechanism. A little working mouth lever. And you can see the mechanisms, but they don't move. The rest of the mechanisms like the eyes. So you can put that on your doll and show everybody what he looks like inside. So Justin, who is a marketing genius, decided that people would like to have one of these. And so we made a deal and he's making them for you and he'll be selling them to you. And I might sell them too on my website. But um, these are all wonderful things and I love them all. But thank you so much, Justin Ishmael, for this. And thank you very much to my good friend, Ryan, who gave me that nice letter with all those pictures. And of course, my... Um, my sculpture of Billy Bob here that's been glazed. So uh, I guess that's it for right now. Okay, so my next video is gonna be of the 
tours that I recently gave to a couple of young men who had a good time here at Creative Engineering, and I took a little, a little bit of video of them having some fun here, and it's coming up next.